I got a question from one of you guys, and it's about turning a a red shirt. You know how 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 to turn a red shirt into, or excuse me, a white shirt into a red shirt. The first thing I want to look at really quick is in the grayscale because this isn't such a problem with tinting or hue, but the problem is with value. So let's see the value by converting these really quick to black and white. And I'm going to convert this one to black and white as well. This way we can see the values. Notice the value difference here. Value is, you know, the shades of gray, like all these over here are values. So you can see the value here, let's get like a middle tone of this somewhere, is way down here, where the value, you know, they take a middle tone, even a brighter tone, you know, it's even the darkest tone of the white, it's way up here. Okay, so knowing that it's a value problem and not a tint problem, and this is why you're gonna have a, a difficult time turning white into uh, red. So you're gonna want to do then. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to uh, this here. Actually, I'll just go history. Okay, so what you want to do then is change the value of the shirt. The first thing I like to do is to make a copy of the layer. That way, just in case I mess up, I always have the original. And then I'm going to put a layer mask. I'll go to hide all. Now I'm going to do just temporarily here, just for I can see the difference, is I'm going to adjust the levels a bit. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Okay, actually I went back, took away the layer mask. I, that's why we couldn't see, because duh, the layer mask is hiding it. I'm going to go to levels first, and I'm going to adjust them just a bit. Wrong one. I'm just going to do it right there for now. Now I'll go to hide all. Then I'm just going to quickly on the mask here with white, since it's a black mask and I want it to show through, I'm going to use a 100% opacity brush here that has size. The harder I press, the smaller it gets. And I just, you know, block in really quick what I, you know, the parts I know I'm going to want. And then I'll go around on the edges and make the mask perfect by zooming in. And there's really no reason for me to do all this uh, on cam song push pause while I do this. I'll just show you really quick uh, part of this. So I'm being really careful at the edges because I want those to be perfect. And then if I mess up like I just did there, I can go to black. You can also put X, hit X on the keyboard like that, but I'm using the uh, tablet. Okay. One more thing really quick you can do while you're in mask mode to get nice edges is go to the pen tool and then you could, you know, do the mask or, you know, use the pen tool to make some, you know, perfect edges here. If you wanted to, you can, you know, go in and adjust each point. And I'm just going to show this really quick. And then you right click on it and make selection. Make sure it's zero for feather. And then you can go, oops. I need to put with white, and I can go in and get that perfect edge there. And uh, as you see, I I, I could have I should have zoomed in more when I was doing the uh, the pen tool. But anyway, that's the way you can get perfect edges. Another thing you might want to do is use a small uh, soft brush for the edges. And what that allows you to do is uh, to really kind of feather it in so you get a nice kind of edge you want. Then I can come back in and, and harvest them after I dark it, darken if I need to. Once I'm happy with my layer mask, I go back to my layer, image adjustments, levels, and now I'm going to adjust the values until I get that kind of darkness. I'm going to see, I'm going to check here. And then uh, that should be about right. I'm going to check the color there. So uh, maybe a little bit darker. So probably about there. 
I also want to pump this up a little bit more so I have some more highlights. Right, so once I get the values right, then you can go in and start tinting it. Right, so then I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation. Colorize all the way to the right. Get a good saturation level. I'm going to turn this down a little more because I kind of want this kind of darker red. But it's important to do that levels thing adjustment first. And then if I wanted to add some variation, like let's say I needed to match the image. This actually matches the image fine, but let's say the highlight was a little bit weird. Then I can go to Color Balance and Highlights. Let's say um, you know the overall color in the image kind of had a lot of you know kind of blue, so I can add some blue, you know, not too much to the highlight. Something maybe something like that, and it just really depends on the overall image itself. Or let's say uh, you needed some yellow in the highlight a bit because you know to match the maybe a little bit like yellow green like that. So anyway, you just want to match it to the image. And so this image here would probably be actually a little bit on the light side like that. Then maybe I can add even a little bit more red into the shadows. You know, you can mess with this. Maybe you want to add a little bit of more blue. You know, it really just depends on the image itself. So mess around with that. There you go. And, you know, once you have that, you know, the value where you want it, you can go in and really change the shirt to any color, even though originally it was white. You can go in and go back to, let's say, hue and saturation. And, um, you know, I can check out all these different colors here. Maybe make it a little bit darker. You can give her all kinds of colors. But let's say, what if... Uh, You know, you can even, you know, once you have the, like I said, the value set with the layers, you can kind of just use lightness and darkness and probably get a pretty good, you know, you have a lot of control over it from that point. I'm going to go to there. Let's say I want to go for a, like a dark black, and, and, and in this case, the uh, shadows of the black is going to be kind of a blue. So now I'm going to go back to levels. I'm going to turn that way down. I'm going to turn the highlights up a bit here. I'm going to turn this down because I want some of the shape there because obviously when you have a black shirt, some of the highlights would still come through. Okay, so and then you can go in one more time and go to um, hue and saturation and then turn saturation down until you got black. Voila, I just turned a white shirt into black. And uh, you know when I when you go from white to black, you really have to be careful and uh, zoom in as close as you can, you know, on the edges here, and use that soft brush and really, you know, try to get those edges as perfect as possible. Or you know, zoom way in and uh, use the pen tool, and you know, you'd, you'd suck it like that, and then you'd use this part, and uh, you know get as perfect as you can and move everything and that's pretty you know it could be time consuming but uh, you know it could work out really good so it just depends on how uh, skillful of a hand you have with the paintbrush whether you need to use this or not but if you just zoom in really close you know and uh, use the paintbrush on soft and uh, you're just really careful to get the edges nice and good everything will look nice when you're done so you have nice edges and I could even uh, dim down all, almost all the way to gray for the shirt and then maybe just add a little bit of highlight color to match whatever is in the picture. Just going to do that really quick to close this video out. I turn the, I turn the uh, saturation way down and now I'm going to add some other color of highlights. Let's say, was it blue or is it kind of a yellow highlight? Just depends on the image, you know. Uh, this image obviously, because our pants it's more blue because I want to match our pants color there. Something like that. I can maybe even go a little bit dark if I wanted to. Um, so I can go back to hue and saturation and uh, now I can just adjust it this way. Anyway, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed this.